Hello everybody. Hey, this is my movie on how to navigate and use my classroom website. You've obviously already found this if you're watching the movie. Um, and, but I wanted to go over some aspects of it. Obviously, this is my home page, my welcome page. Uh, one thing that appears on this is this right down here. You'll say it says practice test now online. Whenever we have a practice test that's online, uh, I'll let you know right here on this front page and you can look right below that and you can actually see the PDF copy of the practice test right there. So this would just be the very first thing you come to. Um, a couple of the very important pages, if we look over here on the left hand side of the screen, you're gonna see science daily work. Now when I made this movie, we were right at the end of an astronomy unit and so this is what it would look like well into the unit and what I've got is all of the things that are underlined are titles of different labs and activities that we did. And next to them is a little short description of where they can get some help if they missed a day or they didn't understand it. Uh, we're doing our best to try and put online tutorials for most of the lessons we do. Occasionally you'll see one like this down here that doesn't have anything tied to it. And this is just because it's kind of a review thing. Um, but anyway, so this is where you would see what the student should have. And right now for students at this point, they should have all of this stuff in their notebooks because they're going to be handing it in very soon when they take their test. Now at the very beginning of a unit, you might see one or two things, or if it's the very beginning of a unit, you might not see anything listed on this page because we haven't done anything yet. So this page just kind of builds. When we're done with the unit, all this will go away and it will go blank and we will start this all over again for our current unit. And again, whatever you see on this page is what your student should have in their notebook at that time. And so that's the science daily work. Now right beneath that, is the Science Daily Work documents, and that's where you can go download all of the documents that you just read the title to. And this, like the other one, sometimes this will have a couple things on it. Other times, like now, when we're at the end of the unit, it will have a whole number of things on it. But you go to the Science Daily Work, and you can see the title and description of what we did. And then again, if you're absent, you can go here and you can actually download the stuff that we passed out in class for that. And I do ask students that are absent when they're gone to check this and download the activity they missed. Hopefully they can do it at home, but if not, when they come in, they just need to say, hey, I was gone and show me the thing that they missed as opposed to what we get a lot of the time, which is I was gone, did we do anything? So I really want them keeping up with that. Anyway, those are the two big ones. There's science daily work and once again, the documents for that. Now down below, you can see my links and there's some important things here. You've already seen this one if you're watching this movie, which is my orientation movies. Student tutorials, this is going to be expanding and these are all different movies that go over concepts that we've done in class. And I expect this list to be getting larger and larger and a lot of times on that daily work, I direct the students to here so that they can see a movie of the concepts that they may have missed or something that they want to look at because they didn't understand it um, maybe as well as they wanted to in class. So anyway, these are the student tutorials and they are pretty much exactly what they sound like. Um, lab instructions are pretty much really for me here in class. I'm not sure that parents need to look at that too much. Vocabulary is important. You're only ever going to find one document on there and it's our most current vocab document. We uh, have the kids kind of keep a vocabulary dictionary as we go through the year. And as we add words to it, I update this every time. So that's something that they may want to look at. And then design and engineering actually is my one little bit for my design and engineering class. So science people won't need to worry about that. Miscellaneous links, just exactly what it sounds like. Just a little miscellaneous group of what I think are kind of neat websites that go with what we've been doing in class. And then finally, a really important one, these are the practice test answer movies and they are only active when a practice test is out. As soon as we take the test, I make them private and so the kids can't get on there. But when you see a practice test here, the idea is that students will do complete the practice test on their own and then come down here and watch the movie that will give them the actual answers. And I just tell the kids all years that doing a practice test without getting feedback on your accuracy intellectually is just a total waste of time. 
So these are very, very important. And my past students say that the very best thing about the class in terms of academic health are these practice tests. So I just couldn't encourage everybody enough to do them. So at any rate, that's it for my, my website. That's pretty much it. Again, science daily work, what they should currently have in their notebooks, daily work documents where they can download any documents they've had in class, and then all the asundrious movies, the student tutorials, and the practice that's answer movies, and probably the vocabulary being the three that the science students would use, I hope, quite a bit. And that's it for my website. Thanks for watching.